Hello, my name is Maria Miller, and Matthew is not here for today. In this lesson, we're going to study the standard multiplication algorithm with a two-digit multiplier. Sounds really horribly long, but you'll see what it is all about in a moment. Basically, we just have a two-digit number to multiply by, okay? And in case you wonder where Matthew is, he had to go run for an errand, so I'm missing him already. Oh, there he is! Matthew, come! Great, great! I'm glad you made it! Okay? Tired? Oh, yeah, he's, he's out of breath and tired. He doesn't want to do any math, huh? Well, I'll just write there. Okay, that feels better. So, in this multiplication, we're gonna do 1 times 62, and then after that, we're gonna multiply 70 times 62. Okay? Two different multiplications. We're gonna write the answers under each other and then add. Let's get started. First, 1 times 62, which is really easy. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 6 is 6. And then, next we will go 7 times 2 and 7 times 6, but it's going to be 70 times the number. You remember our previous lesson where we were doing multiplications by whole tens, like times 70. And I had that extra zero there. I need to do the same now because this is 70 times that number. And so there's going to be a zero in the end, but I'm going to start out by writing that ending zero. And after that, I can ignore this one. It is as if it's not there. I just multiply 7 times 62. 7 times 2 is 14. And then regroup. 7 times 6 plus 1 is 43. And 43 goes here. And now lastly, add as usual. 2, 10, 4, and 4. Let's try it again. Okay, my first task is 4 times the number. 4 times 58. I'm going to ignore this 3 as if it was not there. 4 times 58, normally. So 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 5 plus 3 is 23. And next comes 30 times 58. I'm going to ignore the 4 here. And since it is 30 times that number, it's a number multiplied by whole 10. I need to have a zero here, so I'm going to start out by writing the zero there. And then we go as if there was no 4. We go 3 times 8, 3 times 5. At this point, if you want to, you can cross out this memory number so it won't confuse you, okay? Because we're going to need to regroup again. So 3 times 8, 24. And 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2, 17. Remember, you need to line up your numbers carefully so that your addition will go correctly. 2, 7, 9, and 1. 1,972. Okay, let's continue practicing. This time, before we multiply, we're going to estimate the answer. 15 times 99. Look, Matthew, it's your favorite number. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, he's still too tired. Okay. 15 times 99. I'm going to estimate the answer by rounding this one to 100. I'm not going to round this one anywhere because this is an easy multiplication. It is 1500. And then we will check if our answer will be close to our estimate. So 15 times 99. First, ignore this 9 and go 9 times 5 and 9 times 1. 9 times 5. 45. 9 times 1 plus 4, that's 13. Okay, cross that off. Then I need to put my 0 there and go 9 times 5 is still 45. And this is still going to be 13. Okay, and now add 5, 8, 4, 1. And yes, it is close to 1500, right? One more. 22 times 67 estimate. Okay, I'm going to round this down to 20 and that to 70. So that's going to be 1400. And now let's see what happens with the multiplication. 
Let's put here 67 times 22. Of course, it won't matter in which order you write your numbers here. 2 times 7, 14. And then this is 12 plus 1, 13. Okay. And now the 0. Don't ever forget that. And then I'm going to have actually 1, 3, and 4 again because it's the same. 2 times 7, 14. And 2 times 6 plus 1 is still 13. Okay. 4, 7, 4, and 1. Okay, 1,474. Yeah, it's close to 1,400.